Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel GoDynamic IT. If you are a VMware Workstation user and experiencing issue with VMs not getting internet access in bridge mode, then you are in the right place. In this video, we will troubleshoot and resolve the problem where your VMs aren't receiving direct IP addresses from the router. So let's get started and fix the bridge connection issue. Okay, so as you can see on my screen, I have a three machines here. Uh, this is windows 11 and this is windows 2022 and this is windows 2025 and all are having you can see here all are in the bridge mode you can see this is the bridge mode and the second let me show it to you this is also in the bridge mode and let me show you the third one the server 2020-25 this is also in bridge mode so none of these servers are able to connect to the internet so the problem is they are not receiving the IP address so let me quickly show you this uh, CMD and IP config you can see this is getting the APIPA IP address. and I, this is for all of this VMs so let me show you second one okay and just type the IP config okay, you can see this is getting the APIPA IP address that means somewhere there is a problem with this bridge connection right so what I did is I just try to go to the virtual machine editor and then and after that it will this will open and I, what I did is I have go to the chain setting or it will ask you for this uh, user control user account control you have to click on the yes and once you do that it will load the configuration and will show you the page like this so what i did the first thing what i did is just try to uh, do the reset default it said that vms are on so we cannot do that um, that's fine so i did that but it's not working so what i did is i have to go i went to this you can see this bridge connection mode so you know the bridge connection how it works right so it will your your connection your vms get the ip address from the DSCP, let me show it to you through the pencil. Okay, so how bridge connection work? So let me show it to you. So assume that this is your Wi-Fi router and uh, this is your laptop. Your assume that this is your laptop and this is connected to the Wi-Fi. So this is the Wi-Fi, right? And in this one, you have a uh, obviously you have a Wi-Fi network adapter. Wi-Fi network adapter. So what is the this? It get the IP address. So obviously in this host machine, when you look into this uh, example, that your IP address, you would receive the IP IP address of 192.168.x.x. This is the IP address which you receive, and this is also a 192.168.x.x network. So it could be x.x could be anything. It depends on on your router con. So what you want to do is, so let's say this is you have a VMware workstation in, uh, you have a VMware install on this workstation in install on this one, and you have a created a VM. For example, I have a Windows, uh, for example, Windows 11, and then I have a, another VM that is called Windows. Uh, 2022 this is a server 2022 windows server 2022 so what i want to do is i want this ip address pool to be on my these machines also right so this is where the bridge connection comes in so what this bridge connection does is it will create a bridge between your wi-fi adapter and this virtual adapter whenever you move your connection your LAN kind of connection of this virtual machine to the bridge connection assume that this is the bridge connection it will get the ip address of 182.168 x.x on all your virtual machine so i can see here let me right click on it this machine right click on it. this is the bridge connection mode there are other mode also nat host customers and all this um i will cover this all of these things in the when i go to this uh, virtualization classes but just to understand that this is the in the bridge connection it will bridge all the connection you can see this is the red collection to your Wi-Fi adapter so from from so that it will receive the IP address from your router so router will send the IP address to your Wi-Fi adapter and your Wi-Fi adapter will create a bridge connection and it will send it to all your so VMware create a bridge connection and it will get the IP address on all the clients same IP address on the client okay right so this is about the quick thing now let's delete that and come back to our uh, issue here so you can see here uh, I'm not getting the IP address and even though I did this uh, I, IP config so last release and uh, let's do this uh, renew okay so renew also it hasn't get any response so now um, close this one to fix this problem we have to go to edit virtual network editor and this is for all the VMware workstation version don't worry about the VMware 17, 16, 15, 15, 14. This is applicable for all. Click on the chain settings here. It will again, it will ask you for this uh, user access control. Okay, enable them, enable it. And then after enabling it, you can see this bridge network connection. And he says that here, he says that automatically setting. Okay, that's fine. Click on the automatically setting. Here you can just notice. What happened is I'm supposed to have one or two network adapter, but here I have how many? One, two, three, four, five, 
and 6 network adapter and this VMware is getting confused from where should I get the IP address so in your case let me show you on my host machine if you can let me show you to the host nc.cpl you can see on my host machine I have this much of adapter and this VMware is getting confused which one I should select so the one which you see is in inside the VMware and this is what you see in the network connections so what you have to do is just uh, you know that which is your adapter so in my case I have this uh, 171 dealing DWA 171 so I will remove everything uncheck that everything uncheck everything and keep this VMware uh, dealing DA 171 connected and click on the OK apply apply and OK click on the OK and done you can see the moment I did that you can see this icon has come here let's go to the other machine oh yeah okay. oh yeah you can see here and let's go to server server 2025 and uh, here also you can see this network icon and and uh, now I have an internet connection to all of our virtual machine so this this could happen with your Linux machine also so just go ahead and do that and uh, if you have any questions query or any feedback related to this video please do let me know in the comment box thank you very much for watching the video see you in the next one